Hello everyone, Raven here, and today we are going to be looking at the Sanji co 100 This is a weather radio, AM radio, and FM radio. I will go over the many features of it and how it is. Highly recommended to people who need a really good weather radio for DXing events, as people call them. I'm not sure what the official name is. Let's go over the main schematics of it. So, on the what would you call like bottom or front this side <clears throat> uh, you have the public alerts Sanjian logo and NOAA weather radio older Sanjians such as Geox PJ's life safety has one as well he does not have this logo on his Sanjian ZL100 and that I will explain later so that was the front here's the here's the main top I guess yeah I'd call it the top. You have power, and if you hold it's sleep timer. Band, which switches between AM, FM, and auxiliary in. More on that later. Here is our presets. These, are, these can be used for AM and FM, but not for weather radio. Uh, there's preset one, two, three, four, and five. And then there's snooze for an alarm. Here is your speaker. We have your warning light, your watch light, and your advisory light, and then your weather button. Here's WWG55 out of LaGrange. Chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. We have CT. Also more on that later. We have menu, which goes to the menu. There's a ton of stuff on here. We have your weather on and off, basically on Midland radios. That is your weather band. And then we have select tune up and down and volume down and up on the right side we have alarm switches these are for turning it off and on your alarms it has a little function here so if you set your alarm one to the left side it will give you a little indicator and that means it'll do the buzzer if you set it to the right which has a speaker icon that means it'll turn on the radio and you have two of them too on this left side here, we have absolutely nothing. On the bottom, we have Sanjian FM AM same clock radio. Frequency ranges, which is actually very useful. And our DC polarity for the power plug. And then here's our FCC label, and that should be the serial number on the barcode. But I'm not entirely sure. Here, more on this later. Um, this is actually a very interesting thing I may cover on my main channel or something. This is also something I may cover. Here is our four AA batteries diagram and yes, it can take batteries. And now, final and best part, the back. So we have our DC, six volts at 400 milliamps. We have our headphone jack. Yes, you can get audio out of this thing from weather. And that is incredibly useful if you want to capture or record or stream AM, FM, or auxiliary even to a website or Audacity or anything you want. It's basically just audio out. We have auxiliary in. We have external alert, which is a power output for a basically like external horn or strobe. We have our WX FM external antenna. Reason why this is not AM is because AM is right here and it uses a different type of antenna. And then there's ground. I am not sure at the moment what this is for, but it's probably for the AM external antenna. Okay, so here are the things that I want to talk about later. The normal weather radio not being there on the front of the radio on some editions of the CL100. There are older versions of this radio. So if you go to menu and all the way down, this tells you the system version of the radio. And sometimes you'll see CL100 version 1.1 with an older date of 2010, which does not have the NOAA weather radio logo. And another thing is the CT button I was talking about earlier. This thing supports RDS FM broadcasts where the station provides a data stream to radios 
providing the song name and station name. Those stations sometimes broadcast the time information. And this button lets you set automatic time for the Sanjin CL100. Just pressing this will give you this. However, by default, the radio stations are not programmed. So if you hit menu, clock, and then you'll see automatic off. Press that, and you can set the stations it, it uses to get the time. And to turn it on, go to the automatic menu item, and then hit volume up. That'll turn it on and off. We have your AM and FM bands. That's basically self-explanatory right there. RDS support can be f found here. Let's see if I can get a station. Okay, so this one has a corrupted RDS, since we are not seeing any information. Here's AM, that's also self-explanatory. And then there is the auxiliary in port, which basically is an auxiliary in. Nothing really special there. You can use this thing as a speaker. Let's go to the menu. So we have alarm one, time, here's our time of the alarm, day of the week, you can set which day of the week it goes off, hit volume down or volume up for the alarm to go off that day. We have a station volume, that is if you have your alarm one to be on the station option instead of the buzzer, and the buzzer level. Alarm 2 is basically the exact same thing. It's just a second alarm. Clock, we already went over that. That's the automatic time. And the manual time, our time you can set there, and then our date you can set there. Tone, this is where you set your bass and treble for the speaker. Siren level. I'd recommend keeping this on low due to the fact that this thing is very loud. Alert mode is voice, basically voice. We have tone, voice, and then on here we have siren and voice. However, we do not have display on this radio. We only have siren and voice. Defeat siren, this is where you set what alarms you want the radio to go off for. 10 day sentry is basically your radio has not gotten alerts for more than 10 days and it alerts you about that just to make sure you have the right station programmed. Add alerts, we have blue alert, same calibration, more on that later, and new alert, that is to program an alert. County code. Basically same code. You can have up to, I think, 25 same codes. I'm not sure. Weather channel. Southeast winds five to KGG 68. WXK 30. And then WWG 55. Okay, so we have backlight, brightness of the screen, three settings of it, and then save time. This is only on batteries where you want the screen backlight to time out. Uh, when it's plugged in, the screen backlight stays on all the time. Contrast, basically contrast. That makes it ugly, so I recommend doing it to low contrast. Siren test, okay. So here are the three sirens of the CL100. And it fades in, so it doesn't startle you like other radios. Low defaults, that's basically factory reset. And then system version, mine is version 2.20, made in June 7th, 2013. That is only the version, however I do not know if it is the manufacture date of this radio. Okay, so that is the Sanjian CO100 weather radio. I would recommend this radio for a guy who needs a really good tool if they are a radio enthusiast in general. This thing has a lot of features, has a really good tuner in there, and yeah. So, I guess I will see you all later, so, goodbye.